Hello everyone, I am Nyaxinak, and this is my Let's Play of Shadowrun 1994, the Sega Genesis fun, fun game. So, my headphones apparently ran out of power, uh, so I'm just running my speakers. I hope there is no reverberation on the microphone. Uh, again, because it didn't recharge quite as well as I hoped it would last time. But anyway, we... Just gave Spirit Eyes the first of the uh, three items he needs. So now we need to look for the Pelt of a Hellhound. Get my mouse out of the way here. How dare you for walking within my presence. So... Did I go on a run? I think I did. I could go back and kill a few more. I don't know if I hit all 20 yet. You know, maybe I should just go back and uh, collect the moons. moons I got. Eh, about as much as I expected. So, hold on a moment. Yeah, we'll go to slot one. Uh, we'll go on a few more shadow runs, I think. someone from Aries. Uh, sure. They're in the, it's the one in the Penumbra district, isn't it? I mean, the, yeah, the Polyp Barons. Ready to talk to Caleb Brightmore yet? I would like to go in. How does it feel to have friends in high places? Hurry up and go on in. We're scaring away the good folk who belong here. Yeah, it's an L's only club. 
In the dark booth, you see a well-dressed elf. Two bodyguards flank him. They seem ready to spring into action at moment's notice. I'm Caleb Brankmore. I know you're looking for me, and sad to say I also know why. I'm truly sorry about your brother's death. He was a good friend. Ours is a dangerous business. Too dangerous of late. Tell me about Michael's last shadow. Run. Michael's mission was to seek out a specific cave for an interested party. Sadly, I don't know much more than that. We were warned of the dangers in traveling through the wilderness, but ambushes aren't part of your typical forest. His team was traveling on uh, restricted lands when they were killed. As a result, the scene of the crime was closed to me. I believe the official cause was listed as death from superior firepower. As to who's behind all this, again, I know very little. I was only the agent in the final contract. I received my orders from an elf named Frosty, who in turn took orders from someone else. Alas, nothing is ever as, as simple as it appears. I've been unable to learn more about her, despite repeated, repeated, repeated attempts. As my reputation is not to bite uh, the hand, as my reputation is not to bite the hand that feeds me, I would suggest you seek her out. I know she spends a lot of time in the Poly Baron, so you might seek her out there. That is all I can tell you regarding your brother. Is there something else I can do for you? Looking for some information. All you must do is ask. I will answer as best I can. I'll also have some contacts that may be of help, but I have to offer them something to show you our series. They require two grand up front before I can give you any numbers. Uh, I don't have two grand, so just get some questions answered. I get new information all the time. Check back every once in a while, and I'll see if I can help you out more. What do you know about someone named Thawne? New player in the Seattle Shadows. Nobody knows from where, where he came, but he has moved quickly to make a name for himself among the shadowy elite. His motives remain a mystery. Talk about a different subject. I'll talk to you later. I look forward to seeing you later. Be careful out there, Josh. Yeah, I'm not quite ready to receive a contract from him. He is a high-level Johnson. Anyway, what was I going to... Oh, yes. Going to Paulet Barons to talk to Frog. Apparently to talk to... Oh, okay. So we're doing this now. Okay, then. Yeah, it seems like you never really have to buy uh, guns in this game. Renrakuu's strike team bursts forth and opens fire on you. I guess they can afford it. Well, that was fun.
We're in a another one. losses. So, I guess, uh, let's just head to Polly up. You! One hit later and he's dead. I'm good at magic now. you as a man lying on the street. He seems to be hurt badly. He looks to you like he needs medical attention rather badly. Give him first aid! You run over and administer first aid to the wounded man. His injuries were severe, but he'll live. Thank you for saving me. Please take this as payment. I get 150 million. This is the Wanderer. Fairly quiet bar averages about one fight every three hours. Didn't exactly say where. I don't know. You can give me a hundred credits, then you get it. You want to pay? Yeah, it's fine. Shut him out. If I didn't take Stark Stark with me, this is where he would be. Be right here. Slar Garden Apartments. You are greeted by elves carrying submachine guns. One of the elves points the weapon at your face. I don't think you have any business here, do you, Chummer? Thinking of how quickly they could cut you to ribbons, you agree you don't have any reason to be here and quickly leave. He's so mean! The Tarslar City Inn caters uh, mostly to elves as the word Tarslar is elvish for remembrance. Despite its rundown appearance, this apartment has a great rep for being the safest place to stay in the Barrens. You please to stay? Well, you've come to the right place. This is the safest hotel in the city for the price. Of course, payment is required in advance. I'm looking for an elf named Frosty. I haven't seen her in a couple days, but that's not too unusual. If you're in a hurry, you might try the Sin Search lands south of the Mare Indian village. Story is she went through some harrowing ritual to become a tribal member. Alright. I guess my next uh, place I need to go is the oh. Ah! Here we go. 
fantastic. But anyway, we're looking for areas right now. Here we go. <sighs> Alright. We're going into a weapons manufacturer. You walk into the reception area and single out a lone suit that's standing off to the side. You give him a quick jab to the solar plexus and drops, wheezing and clutching his chest. You, tell so you yell something about a heart attack and slip into the offices in the confusion. You hope it'll be just as easy to find that package and get out. Grenades worth picking up are frag grenades because of the price. Trade weapons, handing out med kit, uh, med kits like candy is uh, the way to go. You notice an open security panel. It looks like with some rewiring, you could switch off the camera. Oh, walk away from that. Joshua is not the person to deal with those machines. I just set things on fire. Another med kit. All right, Rihanna, work your magic. That's not very magical. Try again. <sighs> okay. I guess if I find an open terminal, we'll just have to count on going through the matrix. Ah, darn it. Security guard spots you. Show me some ID, pal. Since you don't have a badge, you'll have to come up with something else. I know, I'll try that lame story. <laughs> I called it. Drag grenades. Maybe you should go ahead and grab some clips. Med kit. Well, I guess we'll need to go up and shut it off from those uh, computer terminals. Hey, you. Shut off the security cameras. Uh, I suppose we could go down to that one computer thing, but uh, it doesn't really look like there's much else to do. I think it'd be better off just exploring a different floor. Surprisingly, we haven't come across any maglocks. Just four floors, huh? Come on. There we go. 
useless. Come on, you guys. Some trauma patches, which are basically a lot less useful than the med kits, at least now that uh, Stark's uh, skill. Ah! Hey! Right. Well, we found our, uh... Ooh, and they did no damage to anyone. Oh. We found our Hellhound uh, pelts. Come on, guys. Come on. I'm helping! <sighs> Rihanna's like, you should have just left it to me for Jimmy H. Christmas. Yeah, you're not gonna find him that way. Manifested outside the building. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Come on, you guys. Let's go find those other guys and try to. Let's go. I didn't see this on the first floor. Maybe there's a... That's it. And it's completely cut off from everything else. That's interesting. Buildings were purposely made like this in order to uh, make sure people don't rate it like what we're doing, or to make it more difficult for us. Wow, it just ends. Didn't even, uh, didn't even make it look like the building ended there. I mean, like with a wall or whatever. It's so weird.
What about this room right here? Is there any way into it? Oh, there it is. place would look like when it had a higher population. This must be another cut off area that I won't be able to access through. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's, uh, I'll go look at the fourth floor and then I'll come back down to the second and use the other elevator. A lot of these buildings are shaped like H's. And despite being a weapons manufacturer, they don't seem to lock any of their doors. Which honestly surprises me. it was quick to deal with them. Alright. Oh. Talk my way out. Ah, oh, my lame story didn't work. Just a cop sitting there, I guess. There are literally no computer terminals that I can access on this floor, so I'm guessing I'm just going to have to wait out the alarm. Which is fun, I guess. Last as long as I thought I would. They do not. I mean, they don't even have an area where. They like need security clearance. convinced him that you've misplaced it. Suspicious, he decides to check in with Dispatch. Well, at least I didn't use my lame story this time. Dispatch comes back negative and sounds the alert. Well, Dispatch isn't stupid, but this time at least. We 
need healing of maximum power. It's apparently still not going to work. Alright, whatever. I guess that's why I have these trauma patches. so short. <sighs> so I guess they just have like no areas that they consider a secret. This first one will have tar pit or something on it. in uh, confronting any of its inner echelons unless I end up there accidentally. Deceive my way around it. Do or die. We had slow ability up and running.
barely convinced him he would misplace it. Suspicious, he checks in with dispatch, and dispatch already knows I'm bad news. <laughs> Right, it was just in some random safe. And it just ends again. I guess maybe they intended this building to be larger on each floor? out of here from that one. All these open security panels. I can't believe it. Uh, I've already said it too many times. Yeah, uh, this security company is terrible with security. That's politics. <sighs> Dispatch verifies. <laughs> I guess they're like, uh, you know what, whatever, just, just, just let him go. Didn't even check in with this guy. Alright, whatever. Get out of here. Alright. The successes were very successful. Fifty useless, nine grand, five grand. I can take that. Certainly will be more than enough to get into the sin search. Hmm. 
don't mind me selling illegal stuff to you. Of course not. Negotiator. Twelve, though. All done. Oh, someone's going to get it. Foul stench. No, I'm just going to light him on fire. Okay, Julius. Oh, we've gone too far. through. Uh, let's make it this out of the way. All right, looking for some work. Go to the club penumbra in the penumbra district. There you'll meet my client, Billy Gibson. Escort him to the little chief on the Redman Barons. He'll be paid by my client upon safe arrival to the specified destination. I think I'm beyond that a little bit. Guy Fivers. Cost more than that just to get back in here. Well, I mean, it would only net me about 35 million. Uh, moderate matrix run. Mayor's off. Ooh, I'm going back to the mayor's office. I'll take it. I wouldn't also mind uh, upgrading my equipment. I think it's about time to uh, get in the nicey nice with certain people. Medic 
one. Sharky is the one. Yeah, there are a lot of very expensive items. I really need to. I really don't need either of those. I will want them. They're only level 3 no matter what. Avoid corporate detection. Oh, there's access to Hollywood for 5 grand. That's something I'll probably need before too long. Level 2 power focus. I really would like the level 3 power focus and the heavy combat armor, so I need to get in with the Yakuza. I could probably also get myself a corporate badge and just finish all of this stuff out. Cyberdeck related items is always welcome. the limits of my data. But I guess I'm done. Well... Okay then. profile data.
really good at this. I'm 90% certain that this has tar pit on it. I'm 100% certain it has tar pit on it. Ah, no! I should just go for the easy money. Because of all the money I've collected so far, it would take me more than that to get my, uh, uh, to get my attack program up to speed again. Tar pit is seriously like completely bonkers. Not that I'm particularly afraid of like losing in a thing like this, but I mean it's just I mean it it throws you so far back that you would have to oh, crap. I just knocked my controller off of the laptop. I mean out of the laptop. Okay, come on. Register. <sighs> come on. What happened? Seriously, cannot move. Program freeze. Ah, there we go. Okay, we're back up. I'm in with him yet, or if my if I need to build up my reputation anymore. The vid phone is blanked. Identify your purpose. Identify yourself and ask to speak to Mr. Tetsumi. I don't know that name. You had better forget it. Also, if you know it's good for you. Okay, so yeah. Hey, Renraku Strike Team. They remembered. supposed to do on that run. So retrieve a high security data file and bring it to me. And, uh, okay. I think it's time for me to travel to I'll go to Council Island first. Alright, 
will speak to the most wise one. Final task is at hand. Return with the living scale of a feathered serpent. The feather must be given freely, not taken from the dragon to be of use. Return with it with this final item and we will learn your opponent's name. A dragon's feather. Not asking for anything small, are we? Hey, Sharky. A female voice modulates from the pretty face in the vid. Sharky here. You're looking for a ride, handsome? Yes, please. Need to bypass the Shavashi Visa checkpoint, or maybe you want me to drop you deep in the woods, like down by the Sin Search. I also have a stash you may be interested in. I need to get to the Sin Search. I understand that completely. That's quite a haul to do on foot. Quite a haul in my chopper also, so the fare will be five grand. Easy peasy. Okay, hotshot, I'll meet you there in ten. Climb aboard, and I'll have you there faster than you can say vertical takeoff and land. She arrives on schedule, and soon you'll, soon you'll arrive to the wilderness. An armored elven guard stops you. Oh, it's always the elven guards. Hold it, round ear. This land is no longer UCAS, and it belongs to the Sin Search Elves, and it's governed by our tribal elders. You, Sirrah, are not a tribe member, so take your leave. May I speak with the tribal elders? I will show you to the lo uh, lodge of the elders. Thanks, chum. The elven elders grant their request for an audience and assemble quickly in the lodge. Lady Jillahan, morning song, presides over the council and listens as you relate your search for your brother's killers. She frowns when you ask her to tell you of Frosty's involvement. You would have us trust you, but these are such difficult times. You come from a great distance, and you say your need is great. We are willing to accept that testimony if you prove worthy. Do you agree to be tested? Yes. Excellent. Although we may not see into your heart, we can see in its reflection. You can then judge. We can then judge if you are worthy to be a friend of the Sin Search and learn its secrets. You must undergo the ritual of binding. This ritual has three parts. If you can complete them all, you will be proven yourself to us, and you will become a member to the tribe. Only then can we tell you all that you wish to know. First is the trial of friendship. Take this bundle to the Amerindian village and deliver it to the hands of the Red Buffalo Woman. Thus, you will prove your friendship. The guard shows you back to the front gate. If you wish, I could call you one of the cops off patrol and fly you back to the highway. It'll cost you a thousand yen, though. Do you need a lift? Sure. Whiz, chum. Uh, thanks. It'll save me a bunch of needed time. The Nuyen is downloaded from your cred stick and a chopper is called in. After a brief uh, but exhilarating flight skimming the treetops and zipping through the rocky crags, you find yourself back at the highway. I will go to the Red Buffalo Woman. A lot of dead deer around here. Right, I need to fire. up at you and introduces herself as Red Buffalo Woman. Thank you, elf friend. 
Please deliver my gift to Lady Jillahan. Jillian. Good luck on your journey. All right. Now, we're going to go back there on foot. If only to, because uh, that will have a dual purpose. Uh, the larger purpose being, well, one, finding the dragon, and two, of course, getting back to the sin search without having to spend... effective team, I think. How's our karma doing? We've been good racking up karma points. Aren't we supposed to do a matrix run? The hair on the back of your neck rises. You feel like you're being stalked. Wait. The ground trembles as Wendigo charge. <laughs> you're all nothing. We certainly seem to be doing well for ourselves. Well, I think we'll visit the place where we found Stark and see if they have anything to say. Thank you for saving one of our own. We'd like to show you our gratitude. You are given a warm meal, meal as other shaman tend to you with their healing magics. You leave feeling refreshed and alive. Cool. All right. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Take care and goodbye.